Hello magical box lovers and welcome to my channel. My name's Helen, I'm 46 years old and I live here in cold, no sun Derbyshire. Yay! What do I expect? It is November. It is November. Right, so as promised, I've got my latest Oracle deck for you and I haven't used this deck yet. I've been ever so good. I'm saving it to show you guys first. It is the Earth and Bone Oracle deck. There we go. So who guessed it right? <laughs> when I saw this advertised, I think it was on Instagram. I like, that's a Helen deck. That's definitely a Helen deck. Uh, I didn't get it like the first time round because it was on like uh, an independent one. Uh, I didn't get it the first time round. But when I saw... Yeah, it's coming to Amazon. I had to have it. Yeah. So, I just want to give you a trigger warning first. This is going to have a lots of images that are to do with death. So, it's going to have skulls. It's going to have, have a lot of like animals that are associated with death. So, you're going to see like snakes and things like that. So, if you don't particularly like things like that, don't watch this video, okay? I just wanted to say that now because it does show you like human skulls, animal skulls. They are drawings, they're not actual real skulls. But if that is not your thing, then please give this video a skip, okay? Uh, I just wanted to put that out there. But this is something that when I saw it, I had to have and I absolutely love it if you love like the um you know the memento more and um, deck and the uh, antique and an antique anatomy this is along the same theme so when i saw this i had to have it so it's by syrian shadow so it has been released previously so i don't know if it looked any different to how it is now uh, but this is by Rockpool. So as I always say with my tarot and oracle deck videos, these are not review videos. These are just me sharing my decks with you. And the reason why is because I don't feel that I'm qualified to call them review videos because I don't do this for a living. I don't do readings. Uh, it's just purely for my own en enjoyment. I don't know one type of cardstock from another cardstock, so I'm not qualified in that area. Uh, I just buy them because I like them. Uh, so that is why I just say, I'm just sharing them with you. I'm just showing them. And it's, it's, I just want to show you my cards. So if you are thinking about getting them, you've seen them beforehand. And I know a lot of, a lot of my uh, subscribers kind of like the same things that I do. So I thought you might be interested in seeing my latest deck. So that I just like to put that out there and say it's not a review because I really don't feel qualified enough to say that I review these these beautiful decks because I I don't. <laughs> Here we go. Right, so the Earth and Bone Oracle deck. So I'll read what it says for you on the back. So it says this haunting yet alluring oracle is tailored to help you Oh, let me read it down here, then I can say, see it. Tailored to help the readers grow and heal spiritually. The mysterious illustrations of skulls combined with nature reflect the changing seasons and the cycle of life. With a strong emphasis on nature's duality, the messages are about transformation and achieving the ideal balance between dark and light elements. These cards can help you establish a connection with your guides reveal the shadow and assist with a transformative and empowering journey. So it includes tw uh, 42 cards and a guidebook and it's by Rock Paul. Here we go. So I only got this yesterday. So I've just read through the guidebook and I have, I've just looked at the cards. My cards were stuck together slightly and I'll show you why in a moment just in case your cards are the same it's because they've got that beautiful edging so they were just stuck together just slightly because of the the edging so i just had to just 
ease them apart but there wasn't like glued together if you know what I mean the cards weren't glued together it was just due to the that edging that they just needed just to be pulled apart uh, and then they're absolutely fine now but look at those backs absolutely amazing here are the shuffle so I love, I love that tip. Sorry, that, that's just the little leaflet for the uh, like an app that they do. But I love that turquoise. Rockpool tend to do that, don't they, on theirs? But yeah, I, I fell in love with this deck as soon as I saw it. Absolutely loved it. So I'll talk about the guidebook. So the usual guidebook. contents there so yeah it said uh, originally self-published in 2022 by Sirin Shadow as Earth and Bone Oracle Cards so yeah they, it's recent release by himself and then this edition is published 2023 um, it doesn't say whether he's done the designs or whether he's just done the writing part uh, this is what I mean why I say that I don't feel qualified as a reviewer uh, because they would know things like this. But on the you know the little blurb bit on the publication side here, it says designed by Sarah Lindberg, Rockpool Publishing, illustrations by uh, Jack Laney, Rectopus, Rectopus, artwork edited by Brooke Halliwell so let me just show you that bit so I'm sure I'm saying it wrong so I'm not certain if that gentleman has drawn any of these or not I just you know I always feel sorry for the artist because the decks are stunning and then it's very rare that we actually mention the artist it tends to be the person that's done the writing that year mention or vice versa it's never like you know a, a, a double name for the cards when it should be because it's two people and a lot of the times that are creating the cards it's the artist and then the person that's creating the writing for the cards and I make myself clear I know what I'm trying to say um, so yeah so I'm not certain if Syrian Shadow has actually drawn them or whether he's just done the the oracle side of them there we go <laughs> so we've got the contents uh, really nice introduction there telling you all about the deck and um, gave some information on how to cleanse the cards which I thought was really nice and uh, how to sound cleanse because a lot of people forget about sound cleansing And smoke cleansing. And then about junk cards and just a couple of spreads. So there wasn't like a special spread, you know, some decks you get like a special spread. It was just your junk cards, your single card pull, uh, your two card spread and your three card spread. That's it. So I was a little bit disappointed that there wasn't any other spreads than that because I do like to do the spreads that are in the books uh, and I like to work my way through them um, but that's that's just me uh, but uh, says she who tends to really just do either single card pulls or chip cards when <laughs> she's doing an oracle day but uh, there we go and then the cards themselves you get your colour picture there, the name with the keywords and then you've got an affirmation which I thought was quite nice, you've got an affirmation. Now that you don't have any reversals on them uh, but you've got a really nice 
explanation about it. And yeah, I really did enjoy the explanations. They were really, really nice. So yeah. <coughs> I'm trying not to cut, try not to choke. Uh, there we go, that drawer, I love that one. That is the, that's the author, so he's the author then, not the artist. But yeah, there's nothing about the artist, so I just wanted to put that out there. Right, we're ready for the cards. So I'm going to do as I normally do, hold them up like that. I quite like how they're numbered with the name and then it's got like the keywords at the bottom. I know some people will probably hate it because some people do hate that, don't they? They hate having that. I quite like that. And I like, because you don't, you don't really then need this unless you want to, because you've got everything you need on your car. And then you can expand with your own intuition then from it. But these cards are lovely. It's like, like I say, if if scenes about death and anything like this is going to upset you, then please skip this video because you are going to be seeing, you know, um, pictures of skulls. There are some snakes from moths. Uh, I'm just trying to think of anything that might upset people. Uh, they're all beautiful, all beautifully done, uh, animal bones and things like that. If that's something that's going to upset you at this moment in time, then please skip this video. Okay, 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 are we ready? So the first one is shelter, spiritual growth, accountability and healing. So there we go, we've got that. I'll show you the in detail. That's what it looks like. And then for the next time, we'll just hold it like that, yeah? And you see how we've got like a little bit of the border? Just thought they're just so beautifully done. See why I, I, I put it out there, it might be upsetting for some people. I think that is beautifully done, tastefully done, because I don't like some things with some bones when they're not tastefully done it's like with some taxidermy i don't like it when uh, animals have been posed you know like you'll see uh see like a, a rat or something like playing a guitar or something like that that's wrong in my eyes uh, if you're having taxidermy just have them as the animal as it was but not as like doing something stupid or wearing a hat or something that is wrong that's disrespectful I find these really beautiful cards. Uh, number two, Sage, Harmony, Acceptance, Patience. Number three, Trinity, Balancing Decisions, Priorities and Adapting to Change. Number four, apprentice, higher education, beliefs, wisdom. Number five, warrior, inner strength, clarity, presence. I thought the strength card straight away when I saw that. That's beautiful. Number this is beautiful. They're all beautiful. I love this one. Number six, surrender, letting go, trust, expansion. You see how that's like a woman there? It's one of those that you can lose yourself in and look at a long time. Number seven, heart. Emotional, emotional awakening, intuition, following your heart. Number eight, 
number eight, Blood Moon, Illusion, Uncertainty, Narcissism, Narcissism. Number nine, Visionary, Confidence, Passion and Self-Worth. Number 10, Roots, Ancestry, Legacy, Tradition. Yeah, there's a person. Number 11, Wayfarer, Contemplation, Searching for Truth, Inner Guidance. I thought of a hermit straight away with this one. Number 12, Rider, Movement, Quick Decisions, Progress. Oh, oh God, stunning. This next one. 13, Crossed, Choices, Searching for Purpose, Daydreaming. Fourteen, faith, hope, inspiration, rejuvenation. Fifteen, migration, initiation, adventure, freedom. Sixteen, uncover, nostalgia. Nostalgia, even. Sentimentality and memory. 11, number 17, prosperity, wealth, contentment, abundance. Eighteen, sorcerer, ambition, willpower, creation. Nineteen, Stoicism, Peacefulness, Receptiveness, Manifestation. Twenty, Time, Planning, Making Decisions, Taking Risks. Twenty one flow, recovery, moving on, finding peace. Twenty two enchanter, self evaluation, awakening, purpose. Twenty three fate, alignment. Decisive movements, sorry, decisive moments, opportunistic events. 24. Beloved, love, reciprocity, reciprocity, in, oh crikey, intertwinement. Twenty-five, borrow, exhaustion, questioning motivations, realignment. Twenty-six, the key, inner calling, clarity, intention. Twenty-seven, cage, freedom, release. Reclaiming power. 28. Flight. Opportunity. Prosperity. New venture. 29. Adversary. Hard work. Diligence. Progress. 30. 
prudence, self-assured, sorry, self-assurance, integrity, clear-mindedness. Thirty-one, conjurer, higher self, fertility, creativity. Thirty-two, serpent, rebirth, unconventionality, non-conformity. Thirty-three, beast, conflict, competition, oppressors. Thirty-four, ascension, transformation, end of cycle, beginnings. Thirty-five, spectres, discernment, critical thinking, insight. Can you see at the bottom? It takes a while to see them. I'm like, what, what's going on there? I can't see anything. But the more you look, the more you see. I love this one. 36, Owl. Wisdom, independent, think, independent thinking, enlightenment. 37, Shadow. Wholeness, integration, repressed emotions. 38, the pack, inner work, deep connections, soul tribe. That's me with my two dogs. 39, portal, originality, idealism, progression. 40, the stand, courage, determination, fearlessness. 41, Nest, Charity, Generosity, Gratitude. And lastly is 42, The Meadow, Success, Blessings and Positivity. What do we think guys to those? Let me show you the backs. I don't know if I showed you the backs. What do you think? I think they are absolutely beautiful. I appreciate how they can be triggering for some people. That's why I said the warning at the beginning. Um, but I think they're absolutely stunning. And I think they are beautifully done and thought of and put together in a very nice way. Um, and when you read this that goes with it, it's like, ah, oh, yeah really well thought of and the shuffle really nice as well you know I mean I, I struggle with my fingers and I can I can grab the do shuffle really nicely got that nice got that nice sound um but yeah what do you think have you got this deck did you get it before is it any different um it's definitely a Helen deck isn't it um I love it. I can't wait to use it. I was so good because I'm like, yeah, I want, I want to use it. I want to use it. But I thought, no, I'll show my friends first, give you first dibs, let you have a look at it. Cause then it's all in order, and you know, all this has not been touched. You know, it's all nice and neat rather than having my grubby mitts all over it and all starting to wear. But yeah, I had to share it with you. Beautiful. And I love how it's all like that black and blue and all the same theme. You know, it, it all goes together. It's like you'll say, see the same person, you know, the one with the white hair. You'll see her in several of the cards and you'll see the same uh, skulls popping up and that. But I thought it was very tastefully done. So like I say, it could have been done in a way that wasn't tastefully done. But that is tastefully and beautifully done. 
so yeah what are your thoughts and feelings guys about it do you like it are there any oh, I can't speak are there any other decks that you think I might like <laughs> that are coming out ones that I can get on mass market uh, not independent ones because yeah otherwise you'd never see me ever again I'd just vanish like Alice in Wonderland down the, down the Etsy hole <laughs> But yeah, absolutely love them. When I when I saw them, I'm like, Ooh. I thought, oh, it's not gonna, one of those that's not going to be out until like next year. And I'm like, well, I can get it now. So it was still available, guys. So that was in the UK. So if you live in the UK, I got it from Amazon UK. Love it, absolutely love it. Can't abusing this tonight. I haven't even cleansed it or anything yet. So I've got to cleanse it all and everything. <laughs> there you go right so i hope you've enjoyed this uh, video as much as i have i've absolutely loved it and i can't wait i've got new toys <laughs> so thank you for watching as always thank you so so much you mean so much to me you really really do my friends so please stay safe please keep your loved ones safe and i hope you have a magical day thanks for watching guys bye for now bye